Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer Quest with me, Bring It Dawn. So let's go back to Altdorf, see if we can't knock out the last quest in the Reichland. The Emperor's agent is waiting for the adventurers at the bathhouse where they first met. Despite it being the middle of the day, there are no customers about. Once more, the area is surrounded by Kristoff's men. This is I feared. The Skaven are preparing to retaliate, explains Kristoff. Four clan Eshen assassins are en route to slay the Emperor. Helborg, alright, that's the other guy. Uh, Schwartzhelm and Helborg. I has posted Reichsguard throughout the city, and Schwartzhelm will not leave the Emperor's side. All the same, I prefer to eliminate the threat before it gets within the city. I have one more task for you. At great cost, I've discovered the great clan Eshen staging post. I'd swear on Sigmar's hammer that this is where the assassins will be. My men have already instigated a diversion, Kristoff says with a barely hidden pride. A mob of greenskins were roving through the area, looking for a lair to lay low in. Let's just say they found the clan Eshen hideaway and seemed to like it. He looks at the warriors once more. Into this chaos I intend to send you. Find the four assassins and slay them. The Emperor has granted that you may take an item from his personal treasure vault. The more assassins you kill, the greater the treasure I've been ordered to give. There's no higher honor. The warriors leave the bathhouse and make preparation for the upcoming quest. So is this the one where you get the Hammer of Sigmar? I think this is where we get the Hammer of Sigmar, which is super exciting. It's not actually Gal Maraz, but it's, uh, I think it's called the Hammer of Sigmar, or maybe it's a replica hammer? I don't remember, actually. Alright, so he's ready to become level 6. We'll get rid of him and bring the uh, Ogre Iron Gut. I might end up regretting that, but we'll see. Alright, the adventurers make their way to some sinister ruins deep in the Drakwald. Even as they approach, they can hear the unmistakable sound of war. Outside the ruins, a battle is taking place. A ranks of Skaven holding the banner of Clan Eshin are in a desperate and bloody melee with mobs of hulking orcs. Using the battle as cover, the warriors circumnavigate the battlefield and make for the ruins. A clan rat gets in the way, surprised to meet the warrior band, but is quickly silenced. The warriors enter the dungeon unnoticed. I wouldn't say unnoticed, but... Close to. Alright, that's a good start. Hmm, don't like that turn of events, but that's okay.
kind of regret bringing the uh, the ogre. He just gets so few attacks. He really needs a bunch of death blows to be effective. Am I able to finish this guy off? Yeah, I was asking for too much. He might be able to finish this guy off. Perfect. Everybody got to go. Yep. Asking too much. They're making progress, slowly but surely. Alright, come on, Ogre. Thank you. Uh, not as great. Come on, Ogre, kill it. Perfect. I mean, uh, maybe not perfect, but, you know, we're getting there. You know what, just use a Star Lance. That was, that was room one. I'm not worried about the Shalian Priestess. Yeah, like, I want to like the Ogre Iron Gut. But he's just get, he only gets the one attack. Which is fine if it hits, but it has to hit. So you get the death blow and then get more attacks. But I think his weapon skill has gone up in like two level ups. He's been getting strength and like toughness and stuff, but uh... That's it. Not very good. These guys he can take out no problem because Mighty Blow or Mighty Swing is guaranteed to hit in that situation. they would have a uh, holy water on them but I will take it
All right, swing away, big guy. Yeah, of course. Well, that's super disappointing. Your guys' turn is coming. I should have just used Mighty Swing there. Well, this guy's gonna take a little while to whittle down. Yeah, let's go take out this guy. Yeah, I figured that wasn't going to work. Really doesn't get any better for the uh, ogre than that. I'm just use body swing. Let's go ahead and take that guy out. I'll try to give it to you, big guy. But you didn't earn it. Uh, yeah. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, you always get some sort of healing, and you'll never get ambushed. At least in my experience. So now that I say that, it's probably wrong. <laughs> mm, Alright, let's do it this way. I'm gonna take this guy out on this turn, so let's do that. Then their numbers, maybe? No? Okay, well, I'll try. Ah. Oh, did I use her? No, her melee attack missed. Oh no, it's not. That's disappointing. Come on, hit him! Yeah! No! Alright, well. He gave it his best shot. That, 
Actually, yeah, let's try and finish this guy off instead. Nice. How much is this other one? Oh, 15. I'm fine here. Have a star alliance, you jerk. can take a beating. My ogre, please kill him. Yeah, I was asking too much. I knew I was asking too much. Starland, sucker. Woohoo! Finally, that fight is over. Feels good. Honestly, I'm surprised the uh, the ogre doesn't get a uh, some form of like regeneration on one of his items because that's kind of what they're known for. Well, I guess trolls are better known for it, but uh, ogres are regenerative. Still couldn't break through his... Oh, okay, well, he burned to death. Fantastic. He basically doesn't even take damage, which is fantastic. He takes, like, one damage per attack. His toughness is so high. Unless we gotta worry about.
Alright, Ogre. Do it. You son of a gun. Ogre. It doesn't get any better than this. I see somebody swing for the guaranteed kill. Alright, Ogre, do it. Perfect. I knew he had it in him all along. How much health does he have? 52. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go. Is this a one turn clear that I see? Oh boy. Good job, me. I guess my party did most of the work, but uh. But I helped. You know what? Going south feels like it might be a dead end. What in the heck? Alright, let's see if she can take out the shaman. Because that would be super ideal. Alright, come on and get it, guys. I think it's a lot of attacks. Alright, let's take care of that. Hey, it hit! Awesome. She doesn't have range? I guess not. Hmm. That's disappointing. Is he gonna take all the hits? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah, let's shoot a lesser scroll of fire back here. Those guys need to go. There's just no way around that right now. I need to move her back. Alright, things are getting a little out of hand.
Come on now, stop dodging. Seriously? Well, that's super embarrassing. Yeah, things are not going super well right now. Huh. Well... Oh boy. Oh boy indeed. Yeah, so he's gonna die. That's the spell that I don't like the Grey Seers to use. Um, yeah, y'all seeing a, uh, a run fall apart on camera. This is exciting, right? Oh boy. Yeah, nothing I can do. I mean, my, my Bright Wizard's dead. <sighs> the only way to potentially save someone in that position is if I have the uh, Warrior Priest on my party. Yeah, bringing the ogre along was a terrible idea. Because he just, he doesn't hit often enough to be useful. Now she's trapped in there, so I can't get her to attack the Grey Seer. Oh, look at that! More! Okay. Well, hey, I'm about to lose my whole party, so this is exciting. Buckle up, everybody. And also, every time we get an ambush, remember, we don't get uh, Winds of Magic either, so it just... It snowballs out of control. Very, very quickly. And he can't hit to save his life, so... Uh, we're in a little bit of trouble. Um, I have a lot of healing options here. Ah. Like, we couldn't kill the last guy in the first ambush. Like, we're still dealing with the first ambush out of the three. Partially my fault. I should have moved the uh, Way Watcher back. So she can get more attacks with her bow. But that wouldn't have saved this, this run. And of course... Oh man, of course... That failed. I'm gonna do what I can here, but it's... I don't think this is savable. Oh, I'm gonna lose my last legendary weapons too. Oh, this is bad. And of course, he just, he won't hit. Oh, that's so frustrating. I mean, we're hanging in there, barely, but we are hanging in there. We're out of healing, though, so... Oh my goodness, really? Alright, screw it, take this guy out. Or miss, that's fine too, I didn't really want to hit him anyway.
I'll see what we can do with that. Oh boy. Please take him out. Oh my. We're completely out of healing as well, so we're, uh... Yeah, our blower failed. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, she's dead, because I can't... just can't pick her back up. Don't have any healing. And my ogre hasn't hit a single attack since we got ambushed the first... Nope! I think he did hit the war boss once for 18 damage, but since then he hasn't landed, landed a single attack. So this guy right here screwed this entire run. Hey, good job, buddy. Oh, not so good job. Okay. <laughs> of course, he only did three damage on the second swing, <sighs> and I lost that really good sword that I had on the bright wizard too. And the Bright Wizard was level 6. So that's also really, really super cool. If I somehow manage to survive this, awesome, but don't think it's going to happen. I guess there's always the chance, because he does have a lot of regeneration with his uh, staff. <laughs> of course, it requires that uh, he lands his attacks. But I'll just wait for another ambush to trigger. Why stop at three? We can just keep going. If I survive, if I manage to win this, I will leave the dungeon in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's it right there. The Orc War boss by himself. I could hit the one once, so... Wow, 
We're not winning this. It would require an obscene amount of luck for me to win this. And even then, yeah. Is it even worth it? I don't know. Hey, you guys get to see what a failed dungeon looks like. Well, there goes my Archmage. I felt like it was going well up to this point. And that's it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> see, and that's what I mean. Like, luck dictates this entire, uh... This entire game. Like, one, one misstep and things can spiral out of control so... So quickly. Alright, so I'm gonna level him up since we have 5,000 gold to do so. Shield of Illusion shields the wizard and all adjacent warriors gaining plus 7 toughness until the end of the turn. Pretty good. Not as good as not having all of my uh, other party members dead, but hey. That's fine. Well, I think I'm gonna call it here, and uh, I'll just leave it as a failed, a failed episode. I think that'll be fun for people to watch. See, I'd see the frustrations that happen when a when a dungeon does go south, and that happens fairly often. But what I'll probably do is I, I'm not gonna level those guys up again off camera. What I'll do is I'll probably just bring one along on each dungeon that we do. As we go through and just hope they level up as we go. Um, really, out of that group, I'm only worried about the Bright Wizard. Dark Mage is pretty lackluster. Again, it's his spells are randomized, so it's not he's not someone you really want to bring with you anyway. The Way Watcher's okay. Uh, not as good as the Shadow Warrior. And um yeah, the ogre is just not very good. He only gets the one attack, and not a very high chance of landing the attack anyway. Uh, he's the worst version of the Troll Slayer. Like, he doesn't add anything to the party other than, I think, a lot of pinning. Maybe not even that. But he gets a lot of toughness and a lot of health, but that's, that's really it. And I guess the Mighty Blow is guaranteed, but it's... It doesn't do a lot of damage, so. So what I'll probably do is I'll use most of my level six. Well, I only have two level sixes, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get one party and just use that one party through the rest of this. I'll probably level up the Bright Wizard alongside that party, but I think from here on out, we'll mostly use the uh, the Witch Hunter, uh, the Marauder, or the Troll Slayer. Grey Wizard and uh, Dwarf Ironbreaker. Maybe we'll throw in the Warrior Priest here and there, but yeah, I'm not going to use the Archmage or the Ogre anymore. <laughs> so it's not worth it's not worth the time uh, required to get them back up to level. They're just not good. I mean, when he lands his attacks, he does good, but he's got to land them first. So, but anyway, I am going to call it here. Thanks for watching. Uh, watching me fail the first dungeon on camera and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one